Hello guys, my name is Mohamed Bakir and today in this video we're going to see how to shortlist universities for Germany and I'll also share these files that I have that I made myself uh, through my research uh, it has all the information that any student is gonna need right so let's just get right into the video so right so we're going to see two different websites uh, number one is uh, the most famous one uh, we're going to see dot dot de <coughs> On this website you can see many things uh, that includes um, the ranking of the university that you have um, chosen for your studies right when you click here you can see uh, universities and program then the ranking here right other than that you can just go to international programs and then uh, we're going to select the master's degree at most people are interested in masters and English only and then we need to select uh, mathematics and natural sciences for my interest right then uh, don't just uh, scroll and go to this option right here and then we select um, the specific fields right I'm going to computer science and then here I will go uh, fully on site then you can choose a city and institute whether you want applied sciences or the technical universities and then I'm gonna go and select no tuition fees and beginning of winter semester since it's winters right now okay so we have these different programs let's suppose you're interested in applied computer sciences and uh, maybe applied data science or artificial intelligence in BTU Cottbus right so this is the page overview I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit <coughs> you can see all the informations the semester begins in April for summer semester in October for winter and has some information about deadlines you can open the website to see more information about the deadlines of the application and then you can see the course details uh, cost and funding so it basically discusses the whole cost of living in uh, Cottbus and um, 130 uh, each semester that is a uh, semester contribution then you can go to requirement and you can see that they require as minimum six and uh, they also accept proficiency letter in some cases uh, again you can refer to the website uh, which I opened right here so application periods um, it's already started uh, because uh, for the winter semester pardon it's already started for foreigners uh, its deadline is until July 15 <coughs> so you have to apply through UniAssist right I will also share a um, video about that as well so you can see all the information uh, subject specific requirements and um, like machine learning linear algebra programming and all these things where to apply and again you have to with German degrees you have to apply directly on the website of the BTU corpus and if you're international you have to apply through union assist and the documents required it has all the information um, that you need alum is not mentioned here I think uh, but I pr prefer to send alum anyways uh, for changing universities you can find more information again right we go back let's say you like this program and it you fulfill all the requirements what you can do is you can click this bookmark and it will be in your watch list so you don't have it will be easier for you to shortlist universities once you have them in bookmark or you can directly keep it there <coughs> right another example we saw was um, applied computer sciences in video called a bit in Gottingen and it has all the information again you can see it starts from 15th of April and uh, again you can refer to the website right to see uh, what they want right applied computer sciences and um, can go to eligibility they don't offer eligibility check the documents required they require a personal statement that is LOM or um, SOP <coughs> right the deadline is uh, from April 15 today is March 16 I think then you can go here uh, there's a mistake here it says this is expected to be available by mid-March but it is not for some reason but uh, the deadline here says April 15 so uh, we don't know yet so this is how you can do it on uh, DAD 
Now let's go to uh, another famous website called mygermanuniversity.com. <coughs> Here we have more options to select uh, universities, program names, and subjects, right? Um, let's say we're interested in computer science and we're going to click here then we have more filters here Let's suppose I want to go with the ranking Maybe or maybe finances no tuition fees Then I will go to the requirements IELTS IELTS score whatever right then you can select the um, uh, Score here no work experience no German and then again here you can select for winter 2024-25 and with restriction without restriction directly at universities those universities that prefer to apply directly on the portal then we can click exclude and it will exclude all the university that require VPD right so you will see now directly that you can shortlist so let's say uh, DIT Degendorf right again uh, you can click this part right here to shortlist the universities into your favorites and then you can simply click the requirements to see which requirements they have and you can click on the course website uh, first of all you have to create an account on the website right now I have so it will take you to the website and then you can see that what requirements they have right so uh, for when for summer semester they start somewhere around March and September for winter semester right and then for application timing uh, you will find it somewhere here step by step how to apply <coughs> right so for master programs uh, it says that um, we have to apply from April 15 till uh, June right then we can see they have admission test as well for this one but it's not given at this point um, computer science the test topic includes uh, mathematics software development AI and data science so if you are going to meet all the requirements you will be invited to the admission test then you have to clear this test in order to go further with your um, program uh, it's 100% in English you need 18 ECTS in AI or data science to be eligible to apply to this university so yeah that's it if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below and I will share all my files uh, regarding the admission process and some FAQs that people usually have. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.